Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Zayani, participated in the inauguration of the Filia Forum, which was held in the Greek capital, Athens, under the patronage of the Greek Prime Minister, Kyriakos Mitsotakis, with the participation of the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Nikos Dandias. The forum was attended by the Saudi Foreign Affairs Minister, Prince Faisal bin Farhan Al Saud, the Egyptian Foreign Affairs Minister, Samah Shukri, the UAE Minister of State for International Cooperation, Operation Reem Al Hashmi, the French Foreign Affairs Minister Jean Yves Le Drian, and the Foreign Affairs Minister of Cyprus Nikos Christodoulidis, as well as official delegations from participating states. The Greek Prime Minister delivered a speech in which he welcomed the participants, affirming the importance of bolstering cooperation with friendly countries to meet common aspirations and goals. The Greek Prime Minister praised the close historical relations between the countries participating in the indicating that these countries believe in peace, understanding the principles of good neighborliness and international laws. He affirmed that diplomacy should be used to advance common goals. The participants reviewed the joint relations of friendship and cooperation in various fields and means of advancing them at all levels. The latest regional developments and issues of common interest were discussed in light of the challenges in the region as well as means of enhancing cooperation to face the repercussions of the post-pandemic coronavirus phase which the world is witnessing. The Minister of Foreign Affairs also participated in the press conference held today in the presence of the foreign ministers participating in the Philia Forum, organized by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Greece in Athens. During the conference, the ministers expressed their thanks and appreciation to the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Greece, Nikos Dandias, for organizing the forum, affirming their keenness to bolster joint cooperation in all fields to serve joint interests. For his part, Dr. Zayani expressed his pleasure in participating in this important forum. He added that this meeting is an opportunity to exchange views and discuss a number of vital regional issues, in particular the challenges facing regional security and stability and ways to intensify cooperation and coordination to achieve peace and prosperity for the benefit of the people of the region. He also added that the participating ministers reviewed the fields of joint cooperation in the post-coronavirus pandemic stage, especially in the fields of energy, innovation, digital economy, civil protection and other fields. As Ayani expresses confidence that the understanding reached in this regard will achieve the common goals of this friend countries. The minister highlighted the affairs discussed regarding the political and security developments and the reflection on the security and stability of the region, the relations of friendship and joint cooperation between the participating countries, their desire to strengthen and develop them in various fields to serve common interests in a way that contributes to maintaining the security, stability and prosperity of the region and meeting the aspirations of their people. The Minister of Foreign Affairs met with the Egyptian counterpart Samah Shukri on the sidelines of the Filia Forum. Dr. Azayan expressed his pride and appreciation for the deep-rooted brotherly relations between the two countries under the leadership of His Majesty the King and the Egyptian President. He affirmed the importance of cooperation and coordination in various fields to achieve joint interests. He also hailed the prominent role of, the Egy of Egypt in maintaining Arab security and defending Arab causes and interests. For his part, the Egyptian Prime Minister underscored the depth of bilateral relations Relations, noting the mutual keenness on further bolstering them in all fields. He wished the Kingdom of Bahrain further progress and development. During the meeting, the two sides discussed causes and issues of common interest, both regionally and internationally. The Minister of Foreign Affairs also met with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Greece, Nikos Dandias, on the sidelines of the Filia Forum. During the meeting, Dr. Zayani conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King to the President of Greece and His Majesty's wishes of further growth and prosperity to Greece and its people. He expressed thanks and appreciation to the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Greece for the invitation to participate in the Forum. He also expressed his pride in the advanced level of friendship and cooperation relations between Bahrain and Greece, affirming the importance of 
continuing to develop bilateral cooperation coordination to serve the aspirations of both countries, wishing Greece and its people development and prosperity. For his part, Minister Nikos Dendias expressed his thanks to Dr. Zayani for participating in the forum, affirming the depth of ties between Bahrain and Greece and his country's keenness to develop them at all levels. He also hailed the kingdom's efforts in promoting peace, coexistence, stability and progress in the region, wishing Bahrain further progress. The meeting also discussed a number of issues of common concern. The Minister of Foreign Affairs also met with his Cypriot counterpart, Nikos Christodoulidis, on the sidelines of the forum. Dr. Zayani expressed his appreciation for the continuous developments of relations and cooperation with Cyprus in various fields. He affirmed the Kingdom's keenness on bolstering cooperation to achieve the aspirations of both countries. For his part, the Cypriot Minister of Foreign Affairs praised the bilateral relations, which are based on respect and mutual appreciation. He hailed the efforts of the kingdom in bolstering regional security and stability. He wished the kingdom further progress and prosperity. Means of bolstering joint cooperation were discussed in addition to the latest regional and international updates of common concern. Following the directions of the Shura Council led by Chairman Ali Al-Salah, the Legislative and Legal Committee at the Shura Council prepared a comprehensive study on the challenges of food security in the Kingdom of Bahrain and discussed obstacles in various fields leading to setting legislations and solutions to overcome these challenges, comprising of 24 general proposals to support food production sectors. The committee held 14 meetings to finalize these proposals and were joined by the Shura Council member Dr. Mohammed al -Khuzai. Zai, who was also a member of the committee, to tell us more about that. Dr. Mohammed, can you hear us? Yes, I can. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you for being with us. Please tell us more about the committee's recommendations in terms of overcoming food security challenges. Uh, you, I'm sure you'll agree with me that food security is the most important security for livelihood of humans and all creatures. Do we not agree that uh, with the maxim that no food, no life? His Majesty the King stresses the importance of the food security in the opening session of the Parliament last October. And the Shura Council, bearing this in mind, formed a committee to look into food security from all aspects. As you mentioned, there were a number of resolutions that the uh, committee took. And uh, I'm very happy to sum up some of these resolutions that I think are the most important ones. Uh, these are setting up a strategy concerned with food security to be implemented at the earliest time possible. Yes. Well, now, uh, as you said, these recommendations um, have been put down. What is the next step to make these proposals an actual reality? Well, the next step is to set, to our mind, is to set up a, a national strategy concerned with food security to be implemented at the earliest time possible. And secondly, perhaps, is setting up an independent authority for food security to com compass all bodies concerned with food in the island, earmarking an adequate budget to run the strategy as a priority, and reviewing legislations related to food security, focusing on agriculture and fishing. And lastly, I think, to assume an adequate food supply strategy of non-perishable essentials, food like wheat, flour, rice, sugar, and cooking oil for a period of at least 12 months to confront unpredictable situations as a result of wars or pandemics. Perfect. Thank you very much for your update. That was Shura Council Member Dr. Mohammed Al-Khuzai.
In our next piece of news, the Ministry of Health affirms the importance of committing to precautionary measures to curb the spread of the coronavirus, which is a shared national and social responsibility towards the kingdom. It underscored the dangers of family gatherings and the importance of remaining at home unless necessary. It stated that uh, committing to preventative measures is key to reducing active COVID-19 cases and that the following phase calls for more commitment to maintain the health and safety of the community, particularly the elderly and people with chronic diseases. The ministry also called on the community to support the efforts of the National Medical Task Force and the medical and nursing teams in light of the increasing number of cases. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that a total of 6,655 people took the vaccine today, bringing the total number of individuals who have taken the vaccine to 219,595. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiatives to, or to register for the coronavirus vaccinations. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 6,487 with 436 recoveries and 797 registered new cases and one death. 306 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 484 are contacts of active cases and seven are travel related. The deceased the deceased was a 61-year-old female citizen. The ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the family of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.